It is a very warm welcome on the platform to Victoria Grant, who joins us, who's going to be the head coach of the Hurricanes POA, that's P-O-U-A, in the OPICI competition next year. Victoria, welcome. Thank you. Kia ora, Martin. Yeah, look, I thought I, I wanted to celebrate and congratulate um, for a start, um, you know, getting this head coaching job. That's excellent, isn't it? Yeah, like, so excited. You know, um, being assistant last year under Wesley Clark gave me a really good insight into the Hurricanes Club and being in a semi-professional environment with the women. So, yeah, really excited to see the Waka um, going forward. Victoria, how long have you been coaching? So I've been coaching since I finished playing, which is about nine years now. Okay. And 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 what did you and how did you start? Tell us about yourself. Did you start with what juniors? Did you start straight in the seniors? Did you get straight into the women's comp? How did it work? Okay, so I was I was pregnant, that's why I retired. Right. And then, so the day I gave birth, I got a phone call from uh, Bay of Penny Rugby Union, who offered me assistant position with uh, PU7, so Bay of Penny 7s, the woman's side, um, and that was with Brad Fleming. So that was pretty exciting for me. Um, so I was doing that as well as some club rugby. Yep. And probably, like, to be honest, as a player, I never really thought about coaching. It wasn't until I finished and, you know, there was such a need and there was a massive gap, right? Like, there was hardly anyone coaching in the females' game at club level. Yep. So I kind of went into that first and then went straight into that um, Bay of Penny role. And then it kind of just grew from there. Like, I just love coaching. You know, uh, there's the the art of coaching and then there's all the tech tech stuff. And I think the art of coaching was the stuff that really, like, I don't know, like, I just really loved it like I love I was just curious and love to know more about that stuff so how to bring a team together um all that culture piece and those pieces of the puzzle were really um exciting for me and sort of new for me you um, sound as though you found yeah, your niche so, yeah you really do don't you yeah yeah like I love it I love coaching I love and I care for the players a lot um and yeah I just love like having a positive impact in the environment and with the people um, yeah, that's probably key for me. What say the team doesn't win though? Have you learned how to handle that? Have you kind of is, is is that something that you acquire over a period of time? Yeah, I've been with a lot of teams that haven't won. To be honest, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm a Hurricane supporter. Like, I know what it's like. You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, like um, I, I think success is measured on a number of um, things, not just outcome. Sure. Um, for us like with the hurricanes it's about striving every day to be better and really just living through those values yep. um you know like with the opiki competition it, it's a semi-professional we're only in four days of the week and we only have like two weekends um you know like in terms of a pre-season so the girls have to be really self-reliant outside of our program yep um so that's a challenge it's a real challenge. You've been understudy to Wesley Clark, who's now um, uh, assistant at the Black Ferns and that. So do you have ambitions to go even higher, higher honours, or is it it's sort of one job at a time for you? Yeah, for me, it is a little bit one job at a time. Like, I just get so immersed in what I'm doing, like, with each team I do, that I, like, I don't really think too far forward, to be honest. Sure. Um, yeah, I just love it, and I and I want to keep loving it. Um yeah, so I don't I don't think too far forward yet. Yes, I would love to um, coach internationally, but for a national type team and Black Men's would be, you know, top of my list to be yeah. honest. But I don't really think about that too often. How important is it to? I'm not I'm not I don't know how to word this. I'm not talking about correcting the gender balance, but how important is it to have women coaching women at at, at whatever levels of rugby? You've obviously been from the club rugby. Now you're getting into the semi professional and so forth. Talking about the black ferns, is it is it really important to you? Yeah, like I think it is. I think um, as a player, you know, like I've coached from by some you know, amazing female coaches. And so that was the norm at club rugby. And I think it is, you know, in a lot of spaces in New Zealand and also the world. Like, if you look at the English Premiership, um, you know, their professional outfit, 24 games over there, and they're mostly coached by women. Um, I really think, you know, it gives gives a place for players to strive for, you know, that want to get into coaching or anywhere in management. Um, and the female game is is pretty much where... I don't know, like, not where you're suited, but like 
I don't know, I just enjoy that space, you know. I want to give back to the girls and the women coming through, you know. Like, it's just part of me. I don't know if it's a mummy, like a mum <laughs> sort of thing, you know. Like, it sounds really bad. So. Not at all. But, you know, like, yeah. I think, and I think it's really important for uh, females to have that opportunity. Um, and there just hasn't been opportunities in the women's game, to be honest, in New Zealand. Like, this is the first time, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, but also, there has been some amazing, like, uh, coaches in the female game that are males, right? That, is, that have given you, you know, they're great believers in the female, in female coaches. And so, you know, I've, like, Wesley's one of them. You know, Wes has been huge support for me throughout my, well, he actually coached me as a player, but also as coaching. You know, he's a massive, um, just an ear for me. Gives me awesome advice. Like I can ring him whenever. Um, and Tabai Matson, so he's from the... He's Mid-Day. a cool dude. I like and, him a lot. I've yeah. spent a lot of time around him. I like him, yeah. Yeah, I love Tabai. And so he's been great for me as well. And has given me, you know, opportunities to coach with him, um, to learn off him. So he's one of my mentors. So, you know, there's a lot of cool people in not just the women's space, but the men's space that want to see females have the opportunity. And I think that's part of my role as well, right? And that I feel like it always has been, is to bring other females with you, you know? So... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's almost you know. It's, look, I love listening to you because I just I just think that you know you're talking on so many different levels as well. There's a real empowerment thing going on. Plus, there's also a big responsibility thing going on, and you're really aware of that. Yeah, totally. Um, and you know, like people have given me, you know, uh, the help up. You know, and and that's what I mean. There are great coaches out there, female, um, male, but. For females, they actually need that opportunity, right? You know, you need, you need the opportunity to grow your capability at that next level. And like for me, I have been over to Japan to coach for a season to get that full time um, professional like coaching day in day out. Mm-hmm. I also shift to the, to the men's game, right? So I coach Premier um, Men's Club Rugby as well, and I did that so I get more time in a campaign to coach. You know, so you've got to pick that's up yeah, yeah. That's that's you know the only bugger when I'm looking at Opaki is that it's it, look it is short. I mean, it's such a, it's a five week or six week season. I mean, you've got to pack so much into it, and it was so disrupted in that. This year. I mean, I'm just hoping that and praying that you get a full season next year. It's a starting point. That's what I'm trying to say. That's all it is at the moment. I feel like it needs a lot more, and I know that you've made those comments as well. But it's a starting point, isn't it? Yeah, totally. Like um, you've got to start somewhere, right? So um, I think it's a good starting point. But like I say, I think for us, there's a lot of growth that still needs to happen. And I mentioned it before with the English Premiership, they're at 24 games. And so you see the benefits of that in the English game, right? Yep. Um, Oh, they're so professional compared to us. You know, I mean, this is what we're going to see with the Rugby World Cup kicking off this weekend. You know, have we bridged that gap or not? But, you know, what we are is we're, I mean, we're fighting a colossus in a machine, which is just so much more well-resourced. I hope people understand that. Yeah, that's right. They are. They are. There's nothing... But to be honest, the English have been like that for a while now. You know, like, even when I was playing, they had a... They at least had a development. They had English under 20s, under 18. And, you know, that was 12, 15 years ago. And they had those pathways coming through, and they've just built on those. Um, Yeah, so they always have been a beast. (laughs) And same with um, in the French, French League as well. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it's a challenge. It's a good challenge. Coaching, though, I mean, every time I just say that word, I just think and wonder, you know, how Ian Foster has coped with what he's coped with. I know that it's a professional business and it's about results, but, geez, it gets nasty, doesn't it? I mean, you know, thankfully it yeah. hasn't. It just, do, it just does, though, and, 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 and irrational and nasty as well at times. Yeah, 100%. Like, there's some really good examples of that lately, right? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you just need to, oh, I guess for me, is like, you know, staying grounded and you now you have your support people, they're yep. your cheerleaders in the background that you keep really close. Um, I think that's really important, eh? Yeah, look, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted for you. I really am. I'm so pleased that you're able to come on the show with us as well. I just said all I wanted to do, I said to Lachlan, I just want to celebrate and I just want to congratulate. I think it's a great story. More power to you. And I just hope that, you know, eventually these kind of stories don't need to be a story because they just, run, you know, they just happen. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Really appreciate the opportunity to come on here. Yeah, Martin, cool. Thanks so much. Let's go the Black Ferns, eh? Yeah, 
Yeah, 100%. And also, look, you know, it took us Hurricanes boys a while to get a title. Don't let us wait so long, eh? No pressure. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> hey, really nice talking to you, Victoria. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Not a problem. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.